Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna unbox the February 2018 Fairy Loot box and I'm super excited. This month's theme is, I think, something that has to do with fairy tales. Twisted Tales, I think, was the theme. But I have my box here with me and uh, you guys will figure it out with me. I do want to say quickly um, that it is time when the sun is setting. You can see that from like right here. So I do hope that the lighting won't change too much during this video. And before I'm gonna open the box, I just want to let you guys know that you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the button somewhere here down below or I will put something up here on the screen. And I also have a ton of social media pages which you guys could follow me on if you want to. Of course, I have Goodreads, I have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address, so links to that will be in the description bar down below as well. And now that I've said that, let's open the February Fairy Loot box. I am really, really excited and I do have my speculations again for what the book is gonna be. Um, I will say my speculation when I take the book out of it, but I wanted to pre-order it and then I didn't because I was like, oh, this could be in a Fairy Loot box. Ooh, I'm so excited. So let's open it. Here we go. Again, gorgeous artwork, and it is Twisted Tales with sort of like a little red riding hood thing on it. I'm not gonna look at the back of the card because it has spoilers, but I will leave all of the people who make the products inside of the box, I will leave their web shops down below so you guys can check them out. There is a mug in this box. They always let you know one item which is definitely gonna be in there, and this mug, it is a box, so I have it, a box. It is a mug, but this is a box. Um, so I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be like an enamel mug, which I love the look of, I think it's cute. No, it's not, it's not an enamel mug, but it is a mug and it has a little red riding hood design on it. Uh, oh no, no, not a, well, it has like fairy tale design on it. So here we have Hansel und Gretel, I don't know what it's called in, in English. <laughs> uh, Hans and Grieche in Dutch. I just said it in German. I don't know why. Then here we have Little Red Riding Hood. Um, I think that this is, um, what's her name? Snow White because there's a tiny red apple on here. And then here we have, uh, what, what is her name in English? Rapunzel? Yeah, Rapunzel. So that is cute. So if you're a big fan of fairy tales, this book would be absolutely perfect for you. I see socks. So I'm going to grab those. And oh, it has to do with like witches and stuff. The witch and the gingerbread house. That is cute. And they're purple. Um, like all these socks with like prints on them are super popular these days because of happy socks, I think. And I don't have that many um, socks with uh, prints on it. So this is really, really cute to add to my printed sock collection. And I think this one looks great and fits with the theme very well. Let's see, oh, of course, a candle, which I always love. <gasps> Ooh, that is a really nice tin. Like, usually these tins are silver, but this one is black, and it's called The Hinterland. It's supposed to smell like oak moss and tea leaves, and it's by Wiccan Fable. I do know their brand, because I think I follow them maybe on Instagram. I really hope that the tea leaves are gonna be very, very nice. Ooh, look at that color, that's interesting. Ooh. Yeah, I like this. It's, um, it's like fresh and fortunately doesn't smell like very heavy-ish. I don't know. It's all I can say. It smells fresh and that is a really shitty description, but it does smell like that. What is this? Oh, I'm dropping all of these thingies. This is a juicy apple scented bath salts, a soothing body soak to relax tired muscles and cleanse the skin. Oh my God. I really want to smell this, but then again, it might like go bad or something. Well, maybe I'm just, <laughs> never mind. I'm just gonna open it. I cannot wait to smell it. It does have like a resealable back thingy. So that is always nice. It's made with like salt stuff. So can it really go bad? Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, that is exactly the type of like sour apple, apple candy thing that you would expect it to smell, which I like. It's not my favorite scent, but I do like it and it reminds me of Snow White, of course, with a poisonous apple. I saw that there is a bookmark, so let's grab it out of there. 
and I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah, I also know this is from like one of the brands that they featured before and they make these like wooden bookmarks and this is little Red Riding Hood inspired. Wolves may lurk in every geese, guys? I don't know. It's by Ink and Wonder Designs and it's a very thin wooden bookmark. Like I could snap it if I want to, but I don't because the design is gorgeous. But I've been meaning to buy um, bookmarks from them as well, which I might do in the future because they have gorgeous designs inspired by all of these different fandoms and this is gorgeous. <laughs> Those were all the items which were in the box and I really really like them. Here I have the book and I believe it has a special like exclusive fairy loot cover which like Owl Crate and Fairy Loot have been doing in their previous boxes and I'm guessing that this book is The Hazelwood by Melissa Alberts and I would be a little bit disappointed if like it isn't because I really want to have this book and I wanted to pre-order it but then I cancelled my pre-order. Let's stop talking and let's get the book out of here. Yes it is but this is the ugly cover <laughs> in my opinion this is the ugly cover um, that is the thing with Fairy Loot because it's a UK subscription box, you get this cover and oh the one like the US cover is so pretty. It is a little bit damaged though which is kind of a shame. It does have gorgeous end papers and it has a little teeny tiny imprint in the book which you can kind of see. So am I- wait the title is missing on here? That is- different. I'm gonna read this book and then if I really love it I'm gonna buy the other edition because I think that one is so much more pretty. I will read the inside for you guys. Alice has spent most of her life on the road always one step ahead of the strange bat luck biting at her heels. But when Alice's grandmother, the reclusive author of a book of pitch dark fairy tales, dies alone on her isolated estate, the Hazelwood, Alice discovers how bad her luck can really get. Her own mother is stolen away by a figure who claims to come from the supernatural world where the fairy tales are set. Alice's only clue is the message left behind. Stay away from the Hazelwood. To rescue her mother, Alice must venture first to the Hazelwood, then into the world where her grandmother's tales began. Which just sounds so cool. I've been having my eye on this book for a while right now. I've heard from a lot of people though that it is a very sort of like slow burning story, especially in the beginning. And wait, is the book signed by the author? <gasps> Ooh, okay, so that is really cool. I was like, where is the signed book played? But it is signed by the author and I've seen that Owl Crate has been doing that as well. And I, I really prefer that because it just gives an even more personal touch. So that is definitely a plus. So that was my February Fairy Loot unboxing. I cannot wait for next month's theme because I think it's gonna be really awesome and in like celebration of Fairy Loot's two year anniversary. I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And again, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere down here or on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.